In grade nine, I actually got cut from every single team I tried out for. Basketball, volleyball, badminton, soccer. They were like, nah. After being cut from every single team, I thought I was the least athletic human on the planet. I had a high school teacher see me in gym class and he was like, you need to do the sport of track and field. I found hurdles and hurdles made running fun for me. Within eight months, we made my very first national team. The whole thing really came about pursuing excellence. For me, the biggest obstacle I had to face came the year before the Olympic Games, where I had never touched Olympic standard. I knew I needed every day, every week, every month. And the year before the Olympics, I was told I had developed a stress fracture in my femur. The doctor originally tells me I need to sit down for three months. I survived the three months. I go back and I'm like, okay, can I go? Can I train? Is it healed? He says, no, sorry. It's actually not healed yet. Come back in another month. This ends up going on for nine months. And in those nine months, I questioned, you know, who was I without sport? If I didn't make the Olympics, was everything a waste? At the end of it all, I knew while, yes, I was taking no physiological steps towards achieving this goal, I was strengthening a muscle that people couldn't see, my self-belief. On my very first day back to training, I decided to get the word believe tattooed onto my wrist. And I said, when I make the Olympic Games, I will put the Olympic rings underneath. And I started training, and six months later, I blow my own mind, I win the Olympic trials, I go to the Olympic Games and finish as an Olympic semifinalist, and put the Olympic rings exactly where I said. So the Believe Initiative program is an organization I started where we go into schools and communities and talk about the importance of being resilient and the power of believing in yourself. I, believe in me. I started track and field in high school. And I had that teacher who believed in me first. Not everyone's gonna have that teacher in their life. Not everyone's gonna have that person to believe in them, to see the potential that they have. And so this program goes into schools to spark that self-belief. I wanna show students that they don't have to let their obstacles define their outcomes. They don't have to let their circumstances tell them how it's gonna end up. And instead, they can see the obstacles they're facing as hurdles instead of walls. So we've been in over 60 schools across the country. We've spoke to 30,000 students. And as a result of this work, we've seen students build resilience and foster this self-belief where we challenge them, what if you believed you could? What skills would you explore? What passions would you further develop? We have them pursuing something that they feel so passionate about. And it'll show them that they can overcome greater challenges than they ever thought possible. That they truthfully have a potential inside of them that they just need someone to spark.